All right, guys. Uh, here after work. It's been a long, stressful day. Um, haven't been doing any videos with the truck lately, and I've just been pretty stressed out with the whole hooking up the truck, wasting money on it, and um, for spending a lot of time on YouTube. So I just wanted to take a break on it, and uh, the whole thing was I was gonna lower the truck, and um, the next thing that I planned on doing was the hangers on the leaf spring, which is on the front of the leaf spring. And it's a big job, it's riveted to the frame of the truck, so I had to torch them out, redrill the holes, put the new hanger on it, and that would have completed the drop. Um, and it would be a four inch drop all around the whole truck. So that was a pain in the ass, and I finally got it done. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys now. Um, first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, how I did it. The front is easy, I mean, it's just torsion keys. That drops down the front, and uh, the rear is shackles and hangers, and that levels the truck out, um, and it sits perfect now. So I'll show you the stance of the truck, and then I'll show you um, the torsion keys you really can't see, um, but I'll show you the rear and how it was done. So, before I had five and a half inches of wheel gap. Now, I have just about, can't fit two. Can't fit uh, three fingers in there, but I can fit two. So, if you come on this, the truck, you can see the new hanger bracket, which is here. How it's nice shiny black, and this is the leaf spring here. And uh, these are the bolts that bolt it to the frame now. Um, the old ones had big balls, big ball, <laughs> big balls, had uh, big rivet balls on them that had to be torched off, and this had to be opened up, and it was a big pain in the ass, and then this bracket was rubbing on the floor, so I had to move the floor up a little bit with a big hydraulic jack, enough to clear that. That's a whole other story, which I'll explain at the end of the video, um, if people want to know about what happened with that. That's the craziest um, problem with a vehicle that I've ever seen. I'll show you that in a second. But that's how you lower the back of the truck two inches. And then this is how you lower it another two inches. This is actually adjustable. If I put the bolt, this bolt in this hole, it'll raise the truck up one inch. And uh, right now I have it fully lowered as much as it can go in the back. Four inch drop. And the torsion keys are in the cross member um which you can't really see right now it's just a black key and uh that's adjustable also i can raise up the truck a little bit but uh, the truck is fully lowered right now as much as i can go because my tires stick out farther than my fender because of four-wheel drive so if i go any lower i'll start rubbing but i'm very happy with the stance that it has right now and uh what happened now with the problem was um, my hanger was on the floorboard. So I was like, yeah, screw it. I'll, I'll take it home from work and um, see if it makes any noise or vibration and stuff. So I drove it home and um, I had a little bit of vibration coming through the floor from it rubbing. But it wasn't too big of a deal. So I was probably just going to leave it. Um, so I, I had my radio off the whole time on the highway. And uh, I turned my radio up, started blasting it, and uh, from the vibration of the hanger touching the floor of the truck, it sent that vibration to the power steering pump and made it um, fail and made the steering wheel really loose. So I was like, what the hell? Um, my steering wheel was so loose, like I could spin it around in circles while I'm driving with one finger. So. Um, I shut my radio off and then all of a sudden it was tight again so I was like what the heck I turned it back up and it went real loose again so I was like hmm that's pretty weird I've never seen that before so when I went to work I jacked up the body so now I have about this much space in between it and um, it's fine now so it's 
it's pretty crazy. That was a pretty crazy uh, thing. But the body is connected to the frame with rubber bushings, and that's why it doesn't do it normally. But that's about it for now. Um, I got some car shows coming up. I'm kind of getting back on track with the whole system thing and the whole truck thing. Now that things are starting to look up, and the truck's actually looking good, and it's starting to be pretty low. Um, I'm happy with the way it's starting to look now. So, that is about it. And uh, in case you guys are wondering about the black strip on the back door, um, I've got a couple of questions about that. I am not the one who put that black strip on the door. I bought the truck like that, and I tried pulling it off, and there's a big dent right there, right underneath the handle, so I can't take it off. But if you guys keep staying subscribed and watching my videos, you'll see what's going to happen this winter to this truck, and it's not going to look the same.